our official stoic print acts as a daily reminder of the shortness of life and that we must bring forth our best to make the most of the limited time we have left. Visit becomingking.net by clicking the link in the description to get your copy. Learn to get along with others, regardless of the difficulties. Human beings are meant to work together. Such is the natural order of things. A stoic speaks the truth, is self-controlled, acts justly, and remains calm when faced with misfortune. They become a source for good, not complaining about every bad thing that happens. Get to the tasks that are important to you, the ones you keep putting off. The gods may soon grow tired of giving you time to realize them. Stop allowing desire to be your master. Instead, be governed by your own reason. If you truly focused, it wouldn't be long before you were living a fulfilling and worthy life. No matter how hard you work, if there is no purpose to it, then your efforts have been wasted. Things will always change. Such is the life force of nature. Rather than fight against it, move with it, living in accordance with reality. What separates a great person from all the rest is they rise to whatever trials the gods assign to them. Stop taking failure so personally. Look at it objectively as you would a mechanism that has become jammed and requires adjustment. Learn why it happened, how you can fix it, and how you can prevent it from happening again. Stop drifting through life. Find a worthy goal and chase it down with all your might. Discard the non-essential. Let everything in your life serve a purpose, no matter how small. All we have is the present. It's the only place where we can start to make a difference. The past and future will never be within your grasp. You shouldn't need to be encouraged to perform your duties. They have been entrusted to you by the gods. This is reason enough. Direct your thoughts towards your purpose and the common good. Steer them away from gossip and self-indulgence. We should not fear death. Our lives appear extremely brief when we consider how much time has already passed before us. Why cling to something that's so fleeting?